What's up guys, this is Tough Thumbs. I'm making a video response to Lazy Spoiled Kitties uh, 1000, 1000 subs big blowout contest. And uh, first of all, I've got to say congratulations, man, on 1000 subs. I hope somewhere, someday get there. Uh, you definitely deserve it. And uh, I'm just going to jump right into the contest. Um, first, after the two rules, you have which knife do you cherish and take care of the most? and like the one that you just can't stop staring at pretty much um, for me it's a couple actually um, I cherish this uh, the uh, Emerson CQC 14 snubby uh, as one one of the most because my girlfriend got it for me for Christmas that means a lot to me I'll never get rid of it um, the uh, large Sebenza because it's basically like a milestone in my knife collecting yeah, you know, it kind of was like my, you know, serious uh, knife collecting purchase. You know, like this is, you know, a serious purchase. Like this, this just lets me that uh, that this is going to be something that uh, I'm going to be doing for quite some time, and I have some dedication to it. And I do love this knife, and I can't, you know, stop staring at it. It's it's ridiculous. But uh, I don't know the one that that I just can't, you know. In all honesty, besides these two, which have sentimental value, the PPT, just the look and feel of it, it's just so much fun. Uh, in my honest opinion, it's just one of the coolest feeling knives that I've, you know, and coolest looking knives I've ever had. Like, the, the weight of it, just so cool. Like, the custom looking scales and the blade shape and just everything about it is just so, so freaking awesome. But, uh, so besides the sentimental value of these two, this one was also... Uh, my girlfriend helped me purchase this, this one also. So, you know, basically because they have sentimental value because of, you know, my girlfriend getting them for me, and uh, that's always cool. And this one, I just, you know, this is the one that I can't stop playing with and looking at. Um, so anyway, the next is my dream knife. Now, for my dream knife, it is basically, what we have here is Jens Anzo's Custom Knives. I always want one of those. Always wanted one of these, and uh, still do want one. It's just way too much money for me. In particular, the uh, I think it's just called a Zulu. Uh, I don't know. I have the just got the Spyderco Zulu, which is kind of a tease to like how awesome uh, his knives are. But yeah, hopefully one day I'll get one of his customs. But here, and uh, these haddocks are awesome. Also, another one I plan on getting. Um, and also one knife that I really have always wanted and nobody talks about, I only have one picture of it, is a, is a sniper I think it's called. Um, I just think they're freaking coolest knives ever. I don't hear much about them, but they're very expensive and that's why I don't have one. So, you know, that's a dream to get that knife. And, um, next you have which one of my videos is your favorite and why? That would have to be when you got your Spyderco Chicago Carbon Fiber. Just because I've been following your videos and I know how it is with uh, with money and everything, and you got that extra extra cost of shipping and everything, and it seemed like it was your first like real like super like knife that you're excited about, and it was just fun to see you uh, open that up and uh, get excited about it because I know how that feels. Um, so yeah, it was cool to see that. And um, the next one was why do you like my channel and what makes you come back for more videos? Well, basically, I think that uh, Squirrel Kitty, is, you're definitely one of the most genuine people on here. Uh, there's nothing fake about you. You know, you, you speak honestly, and uh, you're a very kind person. I mean, from what I gather, I mean, when I when I joined the YouTube, I didn't know what I was doing, and I had a few people uh, that uh, started comment. Like, I got one of my first comments from you, and uh, you know, for me, that was like, oh, cool, someone's actually watching. So. Yeah, it, it just stuck with me. In every one of my videos, you always comment. I try to comment on yours, but you make a lot more than I do. But, um, you know, you always have a nice nice thing to say, you know, about everything. So it makes it feel like uh, my videos are, are worth it, like someone's actually watching. So, uh, and what makes me come back for more is, is, you know, good personality and interesting reviews and, and just interesting, you have interesting things to say. And I think everyone in my community uh, definitely appreciates your contribution so um yeah basically that's 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 your contest so
I hope to uh, hope you get thousands of more subs and thousands of more knives, which I know you're going to be obsessed with for the rest of your life, like I am. So uh, yeah, that's my video response, man. And uh, thanks for the contest, awesome prizes, and uh, I look forward to uh, more more lazy spoiled kitty in the future. And also maybe you can uh, do a video. I don't know if I missed it on why the hell your name lazy spoiled kitty. <laughs> but uh, thanks for everything, man, and uh, have a good one.